and welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for some Abzan Hero. So I put this deck together because I wanted to play Hero of Precinct 1 with Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant. So I just want to try these these three cards together, which is really like where I, I started with and decided to go green uh, as a splash color. You know, I definitely thought about going Mardu with those cards, but deciding to go green with the splash color, mostly for Tristani, that can uh, be able to be extra creatures for like the Corpse Knight and and uh, um, and also pump up the Cruel Celebrant to make it uh, kind of worthwhile and stuff. And and I wanted to play Assassin Trophies too. Hey, what's up, Galliant? Thank you so much for gifting out two subs to the channel. You are awesome. Everybody get some hype in the chat for Santa Galliant there. So yeah, congratulations, Party Smasher and Chris Michael for those subs. That gets us to our sub goal. We need to crack a pack for getting that sub goal there too. Um, so yeah, so decided to go with green and I want to play trophy also because like maybe I wanted to try out like trophy against like the field of the dead decks. Um, you know, if you're just destroying field of the deads, like, I don't know if it'll really work out that well, but I, I decided to, to go green instead of go red. Um, we're, you know, going more mid rangey. We got, we're going up to command the dread horde instead of being super aggressive, but I wanted to try these three together. I hadn't played these three together yet. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what we have. We have a, an Abzan hero list. Um, we also get this cool cat this, which that's cool. We'll see if we really do a whole lot with cat this, but I can see cat this doing some things. You know, it's going to make all of these spells cost one less and that's, that's convenient. And, you know, it's a three, four, three, fours are cool. So yeah, let's, let's give this a try. I definitely thought about March of the Multitudes and I, I had March of the Multitudes in here for a little bit. Uh, I ended up taking out March for the Vivian, but basically March is going to March would be very good. If you already have your hero going and you have a bunch of creatures going, then March can do some good stuff. But like the problem is, is like if you just have like lands and some removal spells in a March, the March isn't going to be worthwhile. Rare. Icon of Ancestry. Alright, Abzan Hero. Oh, I guess I'm just going to play this deck over in ranked 2. Just playing some ranked matches today. Um, so, so that's the thing. It's like, if you're already like, if your deck's already doing its thing, March is a really nice card to, to take it over the top. But I decided to cut it for a card that's more powerful on its own, like Vivian. Yeah, Steve, my... Yeah, you must have missed it. But yeah, my overall impression of the last deck we were playing felt like it was just missing the powerful cards of the format that it could be playing. Like a deck like that, I feel like it should have like Nyssa, Command the Dread Horde, uh, things like that that are... Um, just very powerful on its own, like Vivian, and yeah, like the cards that get a lot of value on their own, and that's what our deck was struggling with, and that deck was, the deck was really built around Carnage Tyrant, and we were just playing against Esper decks, they were playing a whole bunch of Kaya's Rats, and it felt like being, building around Carnage Tyrant was not the best place to be at. Hello. I I don't think that Tesa is really that strong for constructed, honestly. I just I don't think it's like a, a four mana two four is very bad. Giving your creature tokens vigilance and life link is. You know, hardly useful. It's like slightly useful, you know, but it's not like worth playing a card for. And so like just having the triggers whenever your creatures die double up, that's again not really worth a four drop. And so
Which one do I take more? All right, so if I go this way, I take three damage here this turn, and then I take two more, so I take five total. If I block there, I take two, five. I take five damage also. So either way, I take five damage from these things. It's the same number of damage either way. This one gives them the opportunity to mess up and target me instead of target the Corpse Knight, I suppose, though. So that's why I went with that line. This Tristani's looking really good for us. Was looking really good. <laughs> um... Hey, what's up, Kethis? Is Tristani the only legend to hear? Yes, it is. Yeah, Blighting's pretty good. Carnage is pretty good. Ugh, especially that second, the second Carnage. Card works very well in pairs. Help us out of here, kitty. Okay. Not the worst trade. Not the worst trade at all. Not the best draws, though. Those draws. Hey, thanks, KSY. Aw, uh, thanks for that donation. Thank you very much. I've had kind of a rough day today, especially with that mono black control, so really use that, though. So thanks. Thank you very much. Down to eight. Just holding on. Not holding on. Age Bolter. <laughs> KYS. Did I say KSY? It's KYS. Whoops. <laughs> I'm the worst. Sorry. Anyway, Age Bolter, you are a rock star. Thanks for that support as well. Keeping this hype going. Yeah, for a donation deck, any day. Any day. Always open for donation decks. Alright, so we're playing against Mardu stuff. Let's get Legion's End, Dispark. I'm not sure about Kaya's Wrath. I kind of want Dispark basically for Phoenix. Like, Phoenix is difficult to beat. 
But I don't know if Dispark's really going to be hitting that much other stuff. Hmm. It's whenever your creatures die. All right, perfect. Sunday second slot. You got it. Well, this hand's gonna be pretty good against Carnage. We'll have our hand emptied by the time our opponent's carnaging. No, we're a hero deck. We're, we maximize all of, like the spells that have uh, multicolor costs. I don't have Legion's End in the main deck with this deck here. So this is kind of annoying. How? Yeah, this is just annoying. This is just going to kill hero. Like if I if I try to mortify or Othakaya, the the butcher it just kills the hero. Anyway, so I feel like I might as well just trade. And then I just, you know, kill the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Yeah, we played Chandra Tribal yesterday. Nick Nova, it was a lot of fun. Um... But yeah, I played that deck again yesterday. It had been my first time in a few weeks to play that deck. But we did yesterday. So yeah, check check that out over on the YouTube channel, of course. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. No, Beso, I hadn't. I hadn't seen that. Alright, probably just gonna mortify the war boss. Yeah, for me to play a deck uh, on stream through the league and everything is a $20 donation. There's information about that. Um. In the info panel, there's an info panel all about the donation decks and everything. But basically how it works is just $20 donation. And then you, you just have to just let me know whatever day and time slot, first, second, third, or fourth, you would like me to play the deck. And then I do. Then I play the deck. Play the deck then. That's it. That's as easy as that. And um, if you're somebody that likes, if you have any specific sleeves, you know, I have all the sleeves. If you have any sleeves or avatar that you want me to, to use, I'm also certainly up for those kind of suggestions as well. My friend is here to help your pain. No attacks, we're just going to sit back.
I wouldn't mind drawing one of our four Sorens. Or I could tick up Soren and kill this Tybalt after they minus it here. Soren would be really nice. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Yeah, we played Mono Black Control earlier. We are on our last deck of the day, Abzan Hero now. And it's not looking good. Not looking good for us. This would be a very good time for... I mean, obviously the, that Soren. I'd really like that. But this would be a good time if we did have March of the Multitudes. But we don't. I'm not sure I use this card yet. I don't think I do. I honestly don't think this is really like necessarily that bad of a matchup for us. We admittedly have not drawn too well. There we go. Finally we have the Soren. Let's Alright, let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's see what we got going on over here. Bunch of Judiths. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. <sighs> Time for a drink. We hadn't been drawing our, our mythics, you know, like we we just got a Soren, so that's good. But yeah, we got like the Sorens, the Vraska, even the Vivian to give us the card advantage, the the four mana Johnny that's tick up gain three life, you know, like that a Johnny, we got that in here. That'd be a nice one to just to be gaining a good amount of life and everything. Um, you know. Ugh, those are our important cards, which we hadn't, hadn't been finding yet. Hmm. All right, well, we need to gain a lot of life. Yeah, I mean, our, our opponent could have killed us this last turn. Right? Or no, I guess I would have had the lifelink tokens. Maybe not. Yeah, because we had the lifelinkers on the ground. dead now. I guess we're not not quite dead. Accept the darkness within. Oh yeah, no, we're dead because of the spawn of mayhem trigger. So they just attack me with the two in the air and then Judith. 
and kill me. Spawn of Mayhem. Doing lots of damage there. Bad attacks. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? I need to, I need to gain life. Opponent? No, that was a good attacks for the opponent. That was they opponent played that very well. They couldn't attack on the ground. I would be able to gain millions of life if they attacked on the ground. That's what I was hoping that they would do. I had that. Yeah, eight life link power on the ground. They could not attack there. All right, so let's see. Let's see how good Corpse Knight and Cruel, Cruel Celebrant are. You know, I haven't. You know, as as I talked about, I put the deck together to to try to play these these cards together, see how they worked. But I haven't really seen anything that shows that Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant are are real strong in this meta game. But you know, I want to keep giving them or give them some tries. So let's play them together. Boreal Grazer. So yeah, the Corpse Knights will just make our opponent lose life for each one of these creatures. Which could be... Hmm. Blast sounds annoying. All right, we play these two mana two twos just to cancel out the one life that Thornwood Falls gained. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, we'll go another Corpse Knight, then Cruel Celebrant. Make them lose three life. Like opponent's really worried about this block. I'm already up two minutes on the clock. Yeah, I went with yeah, trying to Abzan with this deck because I I haven't been real impressed with with uh, Butcher. And Judith right now I, I think those are cards that could get a lot more valuable at uh, at rotation but it's not for right now okay okay should I do that or should I celebrate again wait I can do both Wait, I have Tristani. It should just be Tristani. I don't know why I thought I only had four mana this turn. Long day. Yeah, this this was just a you know, this is just a bad play over just playing Tristani. I 
With just six lands, we don't have to worry about scape shift, but they probably have circuitous route. Main deck time wipe? Never mind, playing Tristani would not have worked out. Wow. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I've, the biggest thing that I regret is Oath of Kying, the the O3 and not the Teferi, but I was going to try to just get them as low as I could and have try to have the Celebrants kill my opponents. Uh, so I want to trophy this Field of the Dead. Yeah, that's time wipe. So good. Trust me, I have a plan. Really wish I would have just the Kaya the Teferi. Them not having any more any more lands though is definitely good for me. Them not having a land drop. Well, I don't know if it's definitely good for me, but it makes it makes scape shifts not as scary if they have another scape shift. It's not very scary. That's a worse card for me to see than scape shift. I'd rather them have scape shift. There's that card. Because that card does make scape shift very good.
Should be lethal. As long as I grab another field of the dead. <laughs> Seems like all day the words out of your mouth have been that was the worst possible card. Yeah, basically. So we've been that's what we've been seeing. You know, like these main deck time wipes. Just destroying me. And everything. Hasn't been great. We had a couple of days ago, you know, like when we were winning all of our matches, like during that 12 hour stream. And so we're making up for it today, losing all of our matches. Um, I'm supposed to be playing Night of Autumn. We got Golgari Queen and Vivian that can destroy enchantments. Let's cut one Soren. Okay. I think I like. No, I would not. I would not make. Team or Extinction ban for the time wipes. I, I mean, I think Omnath's a big part of that deck, which is red, and I, I like the Star of Extinctions in that deck. Hmm. I guess this is what we got. I mean, Celebrant basically just triggers Hero. It's not even a good card, though. All right, we need a hero. Looks like we got three of them. Why couldn't they have the Teferi this game? <laughs> Teferi, would have been able to pressure Teferi.
right, there we go. Got a little something happening here. Not very much, though. Just a little something. Yeah, Rejuvenator always hitting Field of the Dead makes Rejuvenator really good. Every game that we've played today, our opponents had Rejuvenator that's hit Field of the Dead. I've got it. Why do they have to have Teferi now? Like, how am I supposed to beat Teferi Scapeshift right now? Like, I can't, I can't Legion's End. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I just hope it's not Scapeshift also, I suppose. That's all I, that's all I can do. Nope, it's scape shift again. be lethal, right? I have seven blockers. Yep, it's lethal. Well, I mulled the five. You know, I was trying to dig for our Ashiox. Or, you know, something impactful. Just, those hands are just not very good. Don't we have a bunch of Ashiox in that sideboard? You have three, and three duress, and just no, no duress or Le or Ashiok in the seven or the six, or the five. And we're dead on turn five, of course. Why not Legion's end the token? Because we can't. Legion's ends is not an instant one and two. We can't cast instants anyway because it's a fairy. I could, I could have Legion's End to the three tokens, but we still would have taken lethal. Oh, yeah, no, then that's... Yeah, that show may not be for me then, Matthew. All right, 0-2. We're going to try to fight our way back here. <laughs> you killed a vampire deck with a wall defender deck. Nice. There you go. All right, well, we'll see how we do against Field of the Dead this time. I'm going to say Mortify can kill a big Krasis or if they have enchantment removal. Um, if they have Little Teferi, Golgari Queen can get rid of Little Teferi also. I 
But yeah, the deck that we're playing here is definitely a, a slow grind him out deck, you know, like kind of ping him to death kind of thing. And so these just instant speed million two twos are not not what I not what our deck can handle. Yeah, that, that's what, that was the hope, was that Assassin's Trophy would do some work killing the Field of the Dead. It hasn't worked out for us yet. But that's what we were hoping. Or like, that's what I was hoping. But it hasn't prove, proven to be strong enough. But yeah, my hope was Assassin's oh. Trophy destroying Field of the Dead would be good. I don't mind like a hero. Be able to play hero then corpse knight. And we're not beating scape shift either way. I don't mind Deputy of Detention as much as... Time Wipe, that other game. Okay, so Command, Johnny, Tristani. I guess cut this blocks. Finally done with the ice cream truck work and on your way home to smoked chicken wings. Ah, that sounds good. All right, well, I'm not super confident here, but hopefully we have our cyborg cards, like Ashiok, Duress, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess I should be bringing in the Kaya's Wrath, shouldn't I? Even like with having Cruel Celebrant, having Kaya's Wrath can be nice also there.
Okay, draw some lands. There we go. We got this. All right, another black land. Heal to the dead. Darn. I want to exile all their Field of the Deads. I want to get lucky. And, you know, like, they always play Elvish Rejuvenator and hit Field of the Dead every single time. So I was thinking, like, Ashiok could maybe hit Field of the Dead sometimes. All right, there's one of them. Of course, I know they just played another one. But the less of those they have, the harder it is for them to... Um, actually kill us. And the less lands they just have in their decks, the, the less lands they can go search for. Definitely the, my worst. Yeah, it's definitely my least favorite part about Ashiok are the voice lines. It's just way too loud. Uh, getting wrecked by Time Wipe again. It's just too loud. So we only got eight lands out of their deck, including one Field of the Dead. You will be haunted by this tool. That time wipe was rough. Yeah, we mulled, we mulled down to four. This is about as good as we could do. With four cards. Yeah, I'm playing the the Mythic Qualifier thing this month. I don't know what deck I'm playing right now. But yeah, I'll be playing it. Um, whatever I play... I'm going to make sure I have a good Scape Shift matchup. This is just the most popular deck on... I guess I could draw Legion's End. This is just the most popular deck right now. Like this, Scape Shift is the, de the deck to beat. Uh, Esper Control is probably number two. Like Kai's Wrath, Esper Control. But Scape Shift's definitely... Or I guess Vampires may be number two. Vampires is probably number two. Those are probably the top three decks to beat. Esper Control, Vampires, and Scape Shift. <laughs> Why is the most popular deck always so annoying to play against? Because you probably because you play against it the most. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be planning. I think the the budget decks. I'm probably gonna be waiting until rotation for for budget decks. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing brawl, budget, historic, all that kind of stuff. I have a, a lot of plans for all the different 
formats, best of one, even. Also. Yeah, the yeah, Simic Flash. The, Simic Flash isn't isn't a very popular deck right now. Simic Flash has a lot of weaknesses. And it's not it's not a deck that you see too much of. Tristani's currently exiled. It doesn't come back to us. It's not they didn't gain control of Tristani. It's exiled. Yeah, Vitellius. Yeah, that, that makes sense that you could pick your format on sub battle day. That makes sense. All right, so Abzan Hero doesn't work, or at least doesn't seem to work. Unfortunately, here I've kind of had enough of getting my brains beat in today. <laughs> I've tried, but I think I need to just finish it up here and come back tomorrow with some new decks. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of scape shift and didn't work so. Yeah, I wanted to try Hero with Corpse Knight, Cruel Celebrant, as I talked about at the beginning. The The problem, though, is Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant, both these cards are really, really weak on their own. Whenever you have Hero and you are making a bunch of tokens and you're making them lose life for each token, that's pretty sweet. Or, like, you have a bunch of tokens and then everything dies and, you know, you can get, you can get creatures to die, then you, um, then they lose life and that's pretty sweet, too. But whenever you just have, like, some lands and like a corpse knight and like a removal spell and stuff like these cards just aren't aren't very good on their own they're they're really really weak um but i wanted to give them a try here and didn't quite work out um if we're playing against like a like i think the deck that we're playing i think if you're playing against a uh any like more mid-range decks and control decks i think that we have some good good chances there because of like, I think we have some good stuff. Just Scape Shift is just, you know, a combo deck that we just couldn't handle. Um, and it shows, like, the Scape Shift deck's really, really good. You know, like, three Assassin's Trophies and then some Ashiox and Duresses and Legion's End and Kai's Wrath and stuff like that in the sideboard just isn't beating Scape Shift. That deck is really, really good. That's what we learned here. Um, however, uh, I think, though, if, if you're playing against... Like if we were playing against like more Esper control type stuff or just just control decks and mid range decks, we probably have a better chance of just getting you know being able to get these things out, have Soren bring them back, all that kind of stuff. Vivian get us our card advantage. And then obviously, uh, in the late, later game, command the Dread Hordes at the top end is really powerful. So there is, um, there's definitely good things about this deck. This isn't just like an un unplayable terrible deck. It's just. We saw the weakness against uh, Scape Shift, certainly, um, with those games there. I don't think this deck has too many Planeswalkers, no. Um, sweepers uh, sweepers are just fine. Like, this this deck is kind of built to be good against Sweepers. That's what I have it built, like, with the Sorens being good against Sweepers, bringing stuff back. Cruel Celebrant, of course, is good against Sweepers. Uh, Vivian refills your hand. Command the Dread Horde is awesome against sweepers. So like we're we're usually pretty good against sweepers. Like we have a lot of cards that are built for that. But oh well. Um, there we go. So that's Abzan Hero. Uh, looks like I get you know when I built this today. I guess I just didn't have enough Scape Shift hate. And that's uh, what it certainly looked like there. Um. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's Abzan Hero. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the deck, even though it's weak against Gape Shift. That's, you know, that happens. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over on YouTube if you're watching over there. But thanks so much for watching Abzan Hero, and I will see you for the next video.